Congressional Republicans are so mad at Congressman Madison Cawthorn of North Carolina, not for the reasons that you watching the show might be. They're not upset that he has been accused of multi by multiple women of sexual harassment, inappropriate behavior, allegations he denies. They're not mad he has suggested armed citizens should topple the U.S. government in a violent revolution, or that he once tweeted out an article comparing Black Lives Matter to Nazis. None of those things seem to get Cawthorn's fellow Republicans upset, because they are accustomed to a certain amount of inexcusable behavior from congressional trolls like Cawthorn and Lauren Boebert of Colorado, Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia, yada, yada, yada. No, Cawthorn is in trouble for these comments he recently made on a right-wing podcast. Look at all these people, a lot of them that I, I, you know, I've looked up to through my life, I've always paid attention to politics, guys that, you know, it, then all of a sudden you get invited to, like, well, hey, we're going to have kind of a, a, a sexual get-together at one of our homes, you should come. And I'm like, what, what, what did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. Uh, and then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. Yeah. Uh, or, or the fact that, you know, there's some of the people that are leading on the movement to try and remove, you know, addiction in our country. And then you watch them do, you know, a key bump of cocaine right in front of you. There's so much you could say about that. I really like the doll with the blue hair right behind his shoulder there. Now, I have no idea if those statements are true or not. Uh, the closest we have to anything like it at all is public reporting in the Daily Beast last May that two witnesses allegedly saw Congressman Matt Gates of Florida using cocaine at a party after a 2019 fundraiser. Gates' office did not return a request from the Daily Beast for comment on that specific allegation. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really care one way or the other. But Cawthorn's fellow Republicans do, and it is telling that these comments, these are the ones that get Congressman Cawthorn in trouble. Republican leader Kevin McCarthy of California reportedly disciplined Cawthorn like a disappointed father, telling the 26-year-old he needed to earn his trust back and claiming that Cawthorn told him he embellished his comments. Cawthorn embellishing? Psh. Now, McCarthy spoke out so forcefully because his caucus is demanding it. According to Politico, members of the far-right House Freedom Caucus have reportedly considered kicking Cawthorn out of the group. And Republican Congressman Steve Womack of Arkansas, who is 65 years old, complained he is now fielding questions from constituents about orgies. And that last point isn't all that surprising. Here's what happened. Cawthorn's allegations on a right-wing podcast of shadowy sex parties got caught up in the QAnon updraft that these folks have been stoking for years, playing right into the Republican base's belief the so-called deep state swamp is full of these depraved degenerates. It's still notable Cawthorn is being so swiftly rebuked by McCarthy and others in his party, while, say, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene emerged relatively unscathed after she attended a white nationalist conference with a man who once delivered an extended riff denying the Holocaust. At the very least, we know where the line is. It's at the key bumps. Appearing with Holocaust deniers is fine, but don't go telling people about Republican drug and sex parties. We've got an image to protect.